It is said that we as individuals are the product of the decisions we've made in the past, backed by our tenacity to stick to those decisions. So it seems our nation is the product of their decisions and their willingness to back them with their actions. Veterans Day brings us to the realization that backing a nation's decision frequently puts their military on the line and in harm's way. I recently had the moving experience of touring the battlefields at Gettysburg. As you listen to your guide describe the conditions the combatants endured over three days and 51,000 casualties, it becomes clear that decisions made by nations, or even hopeful nations to be, are paid for by the sacrifices of the military they employ. I have a fairly large list of veterans in my lineage. My grandmother's uncle Lucius Barber was a Union Army sergeant. My uncle Pete Vreeland was career military and served as a military attaché all over the world. I've been blessed to have had two fathers-in-law who served active duty in World War II. Visitors to this blog will frequently hear me mention how fortunate I feel living at this place at this time, and I define it in the largest sense. This country, at this time, on this planet, in this solar system, in this galaxy, in this universe, etc., etc. Face it, we live on a speck of dust that somehow supports life. It's up to us and our decisions how we interpret this fortune. But back to those decisions. The ones our military get involved with are geopolitical in nature. Ponder your present situation had the Brits not decided to dominate the world at the beginning of the 18th century. Or the Continental Congress not decided to separate from Mother Britannia with their decidedly motivated military. Or Lincoln and the Union philosophy not decided to go to the wall to preserve the nation in the mid-19th century. Or the greatest generation not decided that the threats from Germany and Japan needed to be repelled in order to preserve this great American democratic experiment. Ponder where you could be had a motivated military not per persevered in any of those decisions. Going back 400 years, we could be Portuguese or British or two smaller nations with one condoning and slaving a labor force or German or Japanese. But we're not. Thank a veteran. Remember those who stand behind the decisions. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.